In this video, we'll be walking through the DEQ's new Diesel Emissions Mitigation Grant program. This program is funded by the Volkswagen Environmental Mitigation Settlement Agreement and will reduce emissions from older, more polluting, medium and heavy duty diesel trucks and equipment currently operating in Oregon. Our goal at the DEQ is to establish a transparent and accessible program that measurably reduces diesel emissions in Oregon in the places where it's needed most, pursuant to recent legislative direction. Today, I'll provide you with a brief overview of the program. Since 2009, the Volkswagen Group of America sold diesel passenger cars in the United States with emission control defeat devices that violated federal emission standards. Software installed in more than 590,000 vehicles resulted in emissions of nitrogen oxides of up to 40 times above the allowed limits. The resulting lawsuits were resolved in a partial consent decree essentially a settlement against Volkswagen on behalf of the United States and vehicle owners. In addition to compensation for vehicle owners and mandatory investments in electric vehicle charging infrastructure, the decree requires Volkswagen to provide more than $2.9 billion to an environmental mitigation fund to mitigate previous and current excess emissions of nitrogen oxides by these non-compliant vehicles. The initial allocation to the state of Oregon is approximately $72.9 million to be spent over 10 years. Oregon must use all VW funds by October of 2027 or will be forced to return unused funds. Our priority is getting older equipment off the road and out of our communities. In 2021, the DEQ will make approximately $8 million in settlement funds available. Our current plan is to open five consecutive grant rounds between 2021 and 2025, as detailed in this table. Our estimates of available funding and proposed timeline for implementation are included here. The DEQ is scheduled to receive a total of $72.9 million, identified on the top line. Administrative expenses and technical services are expected to cost up to $10.9 million, and the school bus program is expected to cost between $18 to $22 million. Oregon will have approximately $40 million in diesel settlement funds available for the total grant program. The DEQ continues to help reduce diesel emissions in Oregon by funding local school systems that are replacing and retrofitting school buses. To date, the DEQ has obligated and spent $8.8 .8 million of funds from the Volkswagen settlement to address 439 buses, reducing annual emissions by approximately 49.4 tons of harmful nitrogen oxides and 4.1 tons of carcinogenic particulate matter. The state is on track to replace or retrofit at least 450 school buses by the end of the year. Projects that are eligible for this current round of competitive grant funding include the retrofit, repower, and replacement of older model diesel equipment, such as medium and heavy duty trucks, buses, non-road equipment, ferries and tugboats, locomotives, and generators. Projects from cities, counties, and public schools are eligible to receive reimbursement for 100% of equipment costs. Exhaust control retrofit projects on all types of equipment are also eligible to receive 100% reimbursement, regardless of ownership. Non-diesel powered vehicles and equipment and trucks that weigh less than 14,000 pounds are not eligible to receive funding under this program. Project eligibility is included in the proposed rules as established by the Environmental Mitigation Settlement and the related Federal Diesel Emissions Reduction Act, also known as DERA. Oregon will be allowed to fund projects with our settlement dollars as authorized under both of these programs. In general, the maximum reimbursement amounts, with exceptions, are 
100% for public sector projects and exhaust control retrofits, 75% for all electric replacement, 40% for engine repower, and 25% for private equipment replacement. Each project must produce measurable diesel emissions reductions from equipment that is currently in regular operation. The DEQ will provide an online grant application platform for everyone who wants to apply for funding under this program. The software will allow you to set up an account, input all required information, and saved draft materials while applicants collect documentation and photos for their old diesel equipment. Technical assistance is also available. DEQ staff will support applicants in establishing fleet inventory and tracking requirements. DEQ will develop a comprehensive user guide as a resource for grant applicants. And unique to this program is the availability of funding up to 15% of reimbursement maximums for technical assistance services for COBID certified firms. House Bill 2007, passed in the 2019 Oregon Legislature, establishes criteria the DEQ will use to award grant funding. This direction is primarily focused on industry-specific benefits for owners of heavy-duty diesel equipment. For example, it requires the DEQ to prioritize projects led by disadvantaged, minority-owned, woman-owned, service-disabled veteran-owned, and emerging small businesses. The cost-effectiveness criteria is based on the EPA's Diesel Emissions Reduction Act program to increase emissions benefits with limited funding. The vulnerable population criteria is based on the DEQ's existing diesel mitigation plan and our commitment to prioritizing investments in communities that are disproportionately impacted by diesel pollution. The DEQ will apply these criteria when reviewing applications and award grant dollars accordingly. Each applicant pool will be scored and ranked with highest scoring projects among all applicants in a given grant cycle receiving funding until all available grant dollars are spent. We will review projects based on project type, cost, air quality benefit, project location, applicant profile, and fleet profile. If available funds are oversubscribed and several applications receive the exact same score, the DEQ will calculate detailed cost effectiveness amounts to break any tie. DEQ staff intend to review applications after August 31st. The tentative schedule for this current round of grant funding is as follows. The grant program opens for applications on June 30th of 2021. The deadline for application submissions is August 31st, 2021. Grant awards will be announced on November 1st of 2021. And reimbursement funding for projects will become available on January 15th of 2022. This concludes a brief overview of this program. For more information about the current Diesel Emissions Mitigation Grant Program, please visit the website listed here. Questions about the program and technical assistance can be directed via email at dieselgrants at deq.state.or.us. Thank you.